Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I created my latest 3D dry brush painting. I'm using my five favorite brushes from Zen Art Supplies and three mini catalyst blades. I'm using Atelier Molding Paste to build up my back. These are the two reference photos I'll be using for my painting. I started off by sketching out the back and with the modeling paste, just building up the layers. I really wanted to draw attention to the shoulder blade specifically and the shoulder. So that's what I'm really focusing on. This is more of a visual video rather than a tutorial. So if there are any questions you do have, please leave them in the comments and I will answer them. When using molding paste, be mindful that it does have water in it, so when it dries, it will evaporate, so you will lose some volume. But you can fix that by building your layers slowly and letting each layer dry. I added a lot of moulding paste and then forgot to lay my canvas down so gravity took control and as you can see it dragged my shoulder blade down so I needed to pull that off and build that layer back up. I let it dry for a couple of days and now I'm using Atelier Free Flow Acrylic Paint with my paintbrushes. I'm not using any water, this technique is called dry brushing. I apply my paint and then with a dry brush I will blend it in and then go back to my paintbrush with the paint and then blend it in. Just alternating between five brushes. It doesn't really matter how many brushes you use. I just prefer to use five as I find each brush has a different purpose. But you can use two or three or even one, but then you will need to constantly be cleaning that brush. I wasn't too happy with the positioning of the shoulder blade, so I decided to move it to the right a little bit. I was using two photos as well. In one photo my shoulder blade is to the left and the other it's to the right. So finding a happy medium was a little bit of a challenge, but it is abstract. And if you ask me, anything goes in my books. <laughs>
Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more quick creations, please like and subscribe. You can also follow my other splashes of colour on Instagram at Julia Dover Art.